Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we work with nature. What do we want from nature? We want to be co-creators. We want to accelerate some of the natural processes. We believe it's natural to have water in the soil and not running off the surface of the soil. So we make our version of swales and berms and we allow nature to fill them a few times a year with water and that gives us joy. I have four meters to go to complete the east-west swale. It might even be a kilometer long. It's also interesting for me the uh, <coughs> top of the baffler the exhaust is this piece of metal. I think it's just to protect one from the heat of this exhaust. And uh, <clears throat> I have my ear protection when working with this machine. But still, I could hear that there was some strange sound. And uh, this is what the holes should look like, this one and that one, but it actually fell out and these top ones are left. So um, this hole is now much bigger than that hole because of the vibration and the damage over time. And what is really interesting to me is this is where the concept of washer come from. It covers that hole so that you can use it again. And that is the concept of washing your clothes. Instead of throwing it away, you can wash it and you can use it again. And this washer now does the same. It allows me to use it again. Okay, so much so for the washer. We have a few set-aside areas and uh, we thought we were smart. But then we learned that maybe this Cistus Hara brush inhibits the growth of the acorn seeds because we realize we don't have smaller acorns popping up all over the place although we have thousands and millions of seeds I have also learned that my brain is good at coming to wild guesses, jumping to conclusions. So I embarked on finding the existing anthenas, the holm oaks, cleared the space around them, and then uh, pruned them in February, and see if I make any dent in this Hara brush and see if these home oaks will grow better. There is absolutely no shortage of seeds. So this area, I the end of this I have cleared a year ago and uh, I thought maybe there would have been some new growth, but not yet. 
so this is what it looks like with the Hara. No anthenas. And this area was cleared. A lot of acorns. But not a lot of plants. I have also thought that uh, the acorns would have developed a structure, a process to counteract the influence of the Chara. Maybe there is a hormone in the Chara that prevents these acorns from germinating. But uh, the Anthena should be clever enough to have his own counter strategy to uh, get its own plants propagating. This is a <coughs> asabuche, a wild olive. So here and there we do have some smaller anthenas. We have the most of them where there are some rocks it appears that they survived because the farmer could not plow there in the past and that gave them an opportunity to survive. So I have now found several of these anthenas and I cleared the space around it. To be able to have an educated guess of what is going on. I also don't want to know exactly. It gets boring to have exact facts. Educated guesses are fine for me. Here I found a uh, asabuche. I also cleared around it. Here is another anthena. And nothing in this area. These anthenas are some of the oldest plant species existence on this planet. The fossil imprints of oak leaves dates back to about 56 million years. That's an awful lot of time. So they must have developed many strategies to survive. And I'm sure they're still doing it. There are more than 500 different species of oak trees. They are present in all continents except Antarctica. I don't know how many trees are there in Antarctica. So, let's work with nature, we are co-creators, I am not the youngest person around, I would like to see some change in the next 5-10 years, that will make me happy. Till next time, goodbye.